If we like it, to. the sun don't even look round. I know it starts looking like an egg. <laughs> All right, dude, we got a clear sky, man. This is great. Yeah, this is. We talked about this on Globebusters, where you know, make make something look giant. Like the moon rise if you're zooming out on something and it's at a long distance and it's in front of the moon or the sun it'll make it look odd yeah well look at everything it's still moving to the right here too it's like on the shore you know everything that's why i say if this thing moves it, it moves like in a huge circle this little light above the sun right now is what caught my eye so uh um, I slowed that little part down for you in, in the original part of the video. Uh, but this is what caught my eye and made me think about uh, doing what I'm going to do to this video in the second part of it. Um, you know, uh, things that catch your eye and then, you know, you want to try to figure out what it is. Uh, I'm no uh, rocket scientist, don't want to be. <laughs> uh, but this is what caught my eye and made me uh, continue on to uh, analyze this video. Uh, a gentleman and I, uh, uh, we, we were out here teaming up to uh, do the lunar eclipse and uh, at least decided to shoot it, uh, catch the sunset at the same time, being that it was, uh, uh, you know, leaving our presence. Uh, just before the moon joined our presence. Um, so the name of his uh, channel is Rethinking It All, and he's a, he's definitely a moon guy. He likes doing a lot of moon videos. Um, so check his channel out. Um, you know, also, you know, one of the things I've always said when I'm uh, filming the sun is that, you know, the sun blinds you. Um, it will, you know, definitely uh, cut the light out. Um, or put so much light in your face you can't see beyond that light uh, same way with filming on the shoreline when you're zooming out into the Gulf of Mexico that light reflection coming off the water would just totally blind you you won't be able to see anything past those points um, so again you know when I'm out here videotaping the moon or the Sun even the moon has bright light on it too that will block you from seeing what's going on actually uh, by it um, so these are some things that I take into consideration um, when viewing this and like I said in that little segment there um, that was uh, something that caught my eye and I wanted to try to exploit that and the only way that I could was by uh, cutting the light in the video so uh, I reloaded this again, uh, put it in my uh, conversion program, and uh, used the saturation, uh, contrast, and brightness to cut some of that light. And uh, what it revealed to me was something surprising. Um, so I will um, let you take a look at it and see what you think. Um, and get your opinion, uh, your comments on it. Um, I'm not somebody that's going to claim that I know everything, um, so I'm not going to speculate on what it is. Um, but, you know, I, I have my thoughts and my opinions, too. Um, but um, I'll let you watch this next part where I slow it down and uh, cut some of that light and let you um, see what I see. All right. Um, again, here we go. I'm going to let you watch this uh, next part of the video. did was I took a lot of the light away from the sun um, because uh, the sun will blind you um, it will keep you from seeing what's around the edges now as I'm zooming in start to zoom in here you'll notice this little black dot to the right a little bit to the right of the sun 
and then it kind of disappears into the to the darkness but that wasn't even what I was looking for and I have no idea what that black spot was and again I I thought this little uh, um, light dot was you know quite possibly an airplane and I was just seeing the reflection of the airplane you know off the sun um, and so, so here it goes um, it goes through and then it takes off um, I, again I'm I, I kind of stumped for words I don't even know how to put these words on here because I am not uh, one for beliefs in UFOs uh, you know aliens coming from other planets but I do you know have an opinion about these lights that we see in the sky you know I thought maybe military whatnot but now after doing what I did I I seen so many of these little lights flying around flying through the Sun flying into the Sun flying over the Sun uh, flying out of the Sun <laughs> I mean, they're going in every which direction, and it just was um, like mind-boggling to me. Um, so I, you know, I slowed this thing down um, as slow as I could just to see if I could bring these out. Now, on this one in particular, I set um, my setting. My contrast, I set at 100%. The saturation, I turned all the way down to minus 100%. And the brightness, I left at 9, uh, minus 9, excuse me. And by doing this, I mean, you see, uh, I'm seeing all kinds of weird objects flying around here. Um, do I think it's dust particles? No, because, it, you know, the sun would just... Uh, these little dust particles would just be invisible and these things don't move like dust some dive down some change directions some are going in all different directions um, some go faster than others and right here there's there's just tons of them coming out of this thing and again uh, you know I I just I'm watching it and I'm saying oh my goodness you know what have I found and what did I discover or you know I mean other people probably have discovered this some of these same things same anomalies um, and I'm no expert so I am not gonna tell anybody what to believe but you know uh, the Son of God it, it, this is God's Son correct um, he created the Son so if we're gonna get into a religious aspect of it um, you know, are these souls, are these little souls that we see um, going to and from uh, the sun? I, you know, I'm not one for, um, you know, I've uh, watched videos where they talked about, uh, you know, the bringer of light um, and how we're souls and how our souls go you know into heaven um, is this heaven's window um, is this the window into heaven and these are souls either leaving or souls coming now here I change the saturation again and all I did on this one was I just brought the saturation down um, to minus 95 percent and even by doing that um, I noticed some more things. Now, here I'm adjusting the camera, trying to get the whole sun in there. I almost wish that I would have stayed at that difference, uh, distance, but even here, you're going to see this light coming in from the right side, and it flies right into the sun. Um, there's all kinds of anomalies in here. And if you want to see this, uh, you know, more, because here later on in the video, I am going to speed it up 
but I wanted to keep it at this uh, slow speed to a certain point to where um, you know they they you don't see them quite as much but you you see a whole bunch of them in here um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on the slow motion until it gets to the point where you we're not seeing as many and I'll speed it back up but what I would suggest if you want to continue to watch it in slow motion uh, is uh, put it on uh, you know go to your YouTube settings and reset that uh, to slow motion um, and you'll see a whole lot more um, it, or you'll be able to take your time and look at it a little bit and that's why I left it on slow motion because it was so busy with all of these little light dots and these little globes right there these little globe things go flying by I'm like well, oh my goodness you know the size of these things if they are up there at a certain distance would have to be phenomenally huge um, and then these other little ones they would still have to be pretty good size um, so I don't know I don't know if I want to say that they're spaceships or you know yeah, I'm definitely not going to say that they're alien life because I don't believe in aliens. I, I, I think um, with what we've heard from you know, people supposedly abducted by aliens, uh, they're not so nice. So um, I, I do see some things in here though that, um, and I'll try to point them out if I can. I mean, I'm looking at a smaller screen now here um, you know, while I'm converting it and um, they're darker uh, objects they're almost like little black objects that um, go across now that could be some kind of bird or something flying by but you know when you watch the, the original video and that again here, there's one of those little uh, dark objects going across there right now I don't think that those are birds I honestly do not think that those are birds but you know, it could be dark energy. Um, think about that. So, you know, what I, I want to hear is everybody else's thoughts on this video. Um, I, and there they go again, the, the little black things up in the upper right uh, toward the middle. Um, so, again, you know, I, I, I really feel like, you know, when I first saw this, I'm like, oh, my God, uh, again, you know, what what have I uh, found? I mean, I'm at a loss of words. Jeez. Um, I'm no professional at this. No, I'm, I'm, I don't have a degree in you know, uh, any of the scientific stuff. But if you watch this, you have to admit that these things don't all go in the same direction they change directions um, you got big objects little objects um, and they're moving at all different speeds you'll see some things go fly by and then you'll see some things go slow so you know I want to leave it up to the viewer um, you as the viewer to decide what you're seeing and if it matches what I'm seeing or what I'm thinking, then I think it's great. Um, you know, we all have our own opinions and we all think differently from each other, but you know, we all can see. So when you're looking at this and observing this, now two things come off the right upper right of the uh, sun, and something's going right directly across the top of the sun. So that's why I say that these things are just going everywhere. Um, some get brighter as they get close to the sun, like this one right here. It, it's going to go down, and then it kind of changes direction. It just stays just above the sun, and it's, I mean, this is in slow motion, so you can imagine if this was in faster speed, that this thing would just be buzzing by. And right here, there's all kinds of things, all kinds of things moving in the screen. Like I said, it was so busy for me. I, I, I said, I've got to keep this at slow motion so people can see what I'm seeing. Um, because if I leave it too fast, 
um, it's just going to go by and you won't even notice it. You know what I mean? So, again, you know, I'm sorry for making my videos so long, but I'm an observer. And when I observe things, I, I've got to be able to observe them. And if that means putting things in slow motion, I will. Or if that means showing the whole video, I will. And, you know, if people don't want to observe them, they don't have to. I don't twist anybody's arm to watch my videos. And, and I don't expect anybody to believe my every word. I, I don't know everything. I'll be the first one to tell you. I don't know. You know, um, I can only just give you my opinion. So, you know, my opinion of this is these are light sources. Um, could these be stars going back to the, the sun? I mean, who knows what they are. Um, but the last thing I want is to say that these are alien life forms coming from some other uh, planet, from some other galaxy somewhere. If you ask me, um, you know, the sun could be a black hole it could be I'm not saying that it is you know I I'm a person that I think um, I won't accept anything as total full proof of anything until myself uh, I have absolute proof so again um, I'm not telling anybody to believe a word I'm saying I'm just trying to get people to observe what I'm observing and if you see what I see um, and you can help explain this. I mean, I I, I was going to get somebody's help to help me explain this and, you know, try to figure out a better way to show this. But I think I'm, do, I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I'm tongue-tied and twisted. <laughs> Only because I'm, I'm just kind of like, saying, wow, um, I didn't think I'd find this. This isn't what I was looking for. Um, but by doing these simple changes with that light, uh, blocking out some of that light, as you see, all kinds of things pop out and start coming visible. Um, now, I do adjust this these settings here um, to different settings and I will let you know when I do um, what the difference is on the settings in case you want to download this video you want to cut out the original part and you want to put it in your program and, and play around with it yourself uh, go ahead I'd be more than happy for somebody else to come up with the same thing um, matter of fact I went out today um, and went down to the beach and did this sunset because I want to see if I get some of the same results. So again, uh, um, I, I have not yet downloaded it into my computer. I, I wanted to make this video first, so after I got back, I'm going to sit here and make this video until it's done. And I'm going to try to post this t tonight. Um, or you know, early in the morning, it might be after 12 by the time I'm done um, converting it. Um, so again, uh, here shortly, I, I think I'm going to speed it up. And again, I want you to be the judge. I, I want to, I want to look at this little uh, part coming up here and see if it isn't uh, important to leave. Um, because like I say, all kinds of things are going through this. And I think it's important that you see every bit of it. And, and you see how many objects are coming off the sun. How many objects are going into the sun. I mean, they're even coming from the right and the left. Um, again, I if they were planes. <laughs> man, I don't think we have that many planes going going up right now. Uh, down here in Florida to to have this many light sources coming off of uh, coming off or flying around the edges of the sun so again I I like people to make comments I like to hear their comments uh, and if you have anything you want to add to this I'd be more than happy to uh, hear everybody's opinion and what they think um, you know I I'm not a big channel um, here's something else going across. 
few other things. Um, now I'm going to change it again. Um, this time I cut the contrast back to 77 and the brightness is still at 33 and the saturation is at uh, minus 100. So again, you know, the whole purpose of cutting back on these light, the light uh, and everything, the saturation is to uh, cut, cut that brightness of the sun down to where, again, the sun will blind you, the light will blind you. Um, people that die, you know, if you've ever listened to anybody's, uh, you know, near-death experience, they're, you know, they're in a tunnel, and at the end of the tunnel, there's a bright light. And they're supposed to go to this bright light. Um, you know, again, you know, I, I don't, I'm not saying that I believe this 100%, but I'm taking it into consideration. There's a lot of things I take into consideration, but I don't full out believe it because my belief system has been shot. Um, there's not a whole lot I believe in anymore. Because belief is a belief and knowing is knowing and that is two different things and you know when you have two different things what would you rather do know or believe I, I myself personally would rather know um, so I'm not going to know exactly what these objects are but it makes me rethink a lot of things um, and <laughs> the gentleman that was out here with me that night is the name of his uh, channel is rethinking it all me and him teamed up to do the um the lunar eclipse so we met out in ridge manor um this was also taken from ridge manor uh we met out in ridge manor to uh film the lunar eclipse and we got out there just before the sunset so we turned our cameras to the sun and did a little, um, you know, sun video before the moon started to rise. So it was actually real good timing that we were able to um, get there at the time that we did because this worked out pretty good. But I myself did not think that I was going to um, get anything off of this sun video. Um, uh, I mean, at first, like I said, I thought it was an airplane and I just wanted to see what it was by cutting back the light. And next thing I know, I'm getting more than I bargained for. Um, because again, this, this doesn't make me rethink at all. Um, and think a little bit differently about what I'm seeing in this video. And uh, huh, give, give me a little different outlook on... A lot of stuff so again I hope that uh, you guys enjoy my effort and I guess I could call it just my little ingenuity ways to uh, bring out something in a video that you wouldn't normally see uh, especially in a sunset or a sunrise where you know we're just getting blinded by that light now I have other sunset videos, uh, sunrise videos, so I'm going to be going back and uh, reviewing them and analyzing those myself too and see if I can't cut some of that light and, and get something similar. Um, and that's why I went out today and did what I did. Okay, I played with this light again. Um, this time I left the saturate or put the saturation or con eh. I put the contrast back up to 100, the saturation to minus 89, and the brightness to 58. Um, and this revealed some things too. But again, I um, I'm, I'm letting you use your own eyes and you use your own mind and you determine what you want to think they are. I don't tell you to believe nothing, but, you know, you can always question it. And that's what I'm doing. I'm questioning everything that I used to believe in because believing is just not knowing. And you'll continue to see these things here um, almost at every setting. Now, the, the next one I'm going to set it at... Um, 
is going to be different again too here. Um, not yet. I haven't said it yet, but uh, I've got some little spots coming up here where I chopped it up just to give it a, a you know, a bunch of different settings. And there's that uh, bird going through there, uh, coming out the other side. <laughs> so again, you know, uh, I want to leave it up to you to determine what you see, uh, what you think they are. And your comments are all welcome. Um, I'm more than happy to uh, listen to people's uh, comments. And again, you'll see some really strange objects that are flying through here. Do I think these are this is dust? No, I don't. I, I think this is definitely something else. All right, this next part here is uh, um, contrast was a hundred. I mean, it's coming up. Uh, Saturation was uh, minus 100, and then the brightness was up to 68. And like I said, I chopped these uh, this last bit up, and at the very, very end, uh, I went ahead and brought it back to um, the very tail end of uh, the original video with no changes whatsoever. Um, so, you know, again... I wanted to give you different looks at it, uh, different light, different con uh, saturation, different contrast. Uh, most of them, the, the contrast was at 100, uh, plus 100 the whole time. I did mess around with it a little bit. Um, but I found that the contrast, if you had it like that, it darkened up the screen quite a bit. Uh, now, again, the next one coming up is going to be... Uh, Contrast 100, saturation minus 100, and then uh, the brightness was 33%. Okay. And then the next one, um, after this, like I said, I cut it up quite a bit now because everything was kind of getting harder and harder to see. Um, contrast was 100, saturation was minus 100, and then I went up to plus on the um, uh, brightness and then on the very next one coming up um, same thing contrast was a hundred saturation minus a hundred and then you got uh, minus eleven on the brightness I turned it I went down to minus on it and then the very very last little portion here um, and you could see things in it if you look. Uh, was minus uh, or contrast was 100, saturation minus 100, and then the brightness was minus 27. And then again, like I said, I go back um, to the original part of the video so you can see that this was the original video that I did. And that's why I posted the original one. So anybody could download this video, chop it up all they want, um, or take the first part, and you can try to do these yourself and see what kind of uh, results you get from them. Uh, this is why, too, I, you know, I give all my work out for free. Take it, use it, run with it. Uh, just don't claim it as yours. And you don't even have to give me any notoriety or anything but just don't claim it as yours and don't monetize it don't make money off of other people's videos and uh, everything would be great I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I hope you enjoy what I uh, what I found all right thanks a lot for watching and sorry I made it too long